Hello YouTube, this is a small video tutorial on how computers store float data. So there are basically two types of float variables called float and double. Both of them store floating point variables. Float typically has 32 bit precision while double has 64 bit. Nevertheless the concept remains just the same. So I show a C example here in which there is a variable float m is 5 and uh, look at how the memory looks like it is not the hexadecimal 5 value it is 40a followed by zeros there is some logic behind how this is formed so let us just quickly go through what the logic is so float is a 32 bit number which is stored in this fashion there is sign in the msb followed by the exponent and then the mantissa so one bit for sign typically zero for positive numbers zero for positive and one for negative and followed by eight bits for exponent and 23 bits for mantissa i'll explain step by step on how the number is stored okay don't worry if you don't get anything so far so let me take an example human readable 3.500 uh, this is stored in a computer like this if you see in binary 3 just translates to 1 1 and 0.5 translates to 1 double 0 after the decimal point so there is there is a small procedure for that okay so if you observe this you have any number this is how it looks like in binary so after the decimal point it is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 and that way and before the decimal point it is 2 power minus 1 2 power minus 2 minus 3 that way so typically you divide a number repeatedly by 2 to obtain the binary equivalent of the number if you remember so you need to multiply the same number by 2 and check if you get 1 in the after the decimal point and if you get 1 you have 1 otherwise you just have 0 you just discard number now let me go with this example you have 3.768 so forget about 3 here just see this 768 if you multiply that by 2 you are going to get 1.536 just take the 1 discard the 1 there you just have this 1 here okay so multiply 536 by 2 you get uh, 1.072 so take the one here again you just follow these steps repeatedly for till you get zero 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 here or you get a repetitive pattern or you get 23 bits now coming back to our example here 3.005 this would typically be 2 to the power minus 1 that is half 1 by 2 is 5 so I got it very directly it is 11.100 one one I, I guess you are clear with this step here so you got the sign bit then you got you have converted the number okay so the step 3 would be bringing it to the form like this okay so you need to have a one point something and multiplied by 2 to the power something so this is a clever design for by IEEE okay I did not mention the standard it's called IEEE 754 now they have made the design so such that mm, this one can be discarded in the next few steps I would teach you even that so you just have to bring any number to this form be it even 0 0.500 you'll have it 0 0.500 here that's going to be 1.0 into 2 to the power minus 1 right so 
this number again is going to be 1.11 into 2 to the power 1 fine once you are to this form now let us just write the sign the exponent sign already is 0 for a positive number the raw exponent here is 1 right the raw exponent here please look at this example here on the right side the raw exponent is 1 so I triply gives a standard such that you have to add an offset of 127 to the raw exponent so adding 127 with 1 gives 128 which is 1 followed by 7 zeros right so the exponent you got out of the sine exponent and mantissa you got the sine and the exponent now the exponent is 128 right so whatever is there after the decimal point is the mantissa just 23 bits of everything after that is going to be the mantissa now you just have to rewrite this in a proper form so sine is 0 correct and exponent is 1 followed by 7 zeros correct and the mantissa is double 1 followed by 21 zeros so here you are in hexadecimal this is going to translate to 4 0 6 followed by 5 zeros right now shall we just verify that I just give okay so what was the number 3.5 I hope it works okay so hexadecimal 406 you also can have online converters for this I do have this yes I had Google for a Pluto dog and yeah 3.5 it converts to 406 followed by five zeros okay so this is this is let let me again take you with another example maybe okay so 1.125 if we just are able to decode this 125 here it here it translates to okay so 1.001 in the same previous fashion if this were minus 1.125 the sign alone would have changed okay so since there is no exponent here we don't have to add any anything to the offset that is the offset is always 127 127 is uh, 7 consecutive ones okay so here you are again with the number this is the end of this tutorial if you did not like my language or if you don't follow please let me know in comments so that I can improve in future thanks for watching bye bye